I am very excited to update you on the latest release of the STM32 Cube MP13 firmware package. This version is unique because it supports the use of a real-time operating system on the Cortex A7 of the STM32 MP13. It means that for the first time ever, our customers can run a real-time application. One that would normally run on a microcontroller but they can now enjoy the power and memory capabilities of a microprocessor. To make this possible, the STM32Q MP13 package comprises a hardware extraction layer and a low-layer APIs to help create bare metal runtimes and improve performances. The software package also comes with software support for the STM32 MP13 discovery board. That means developer can experiment with bare metal support on the STM32 MP13 right out of the box. Finally, the STM32 Cube MP13 also comes with proven middleware to ensure developers benefit from reliable solutions and reduce their time to market. For instance, the package comes with Eclipse Threadex. Instead of writing everything from scratch, developers can take advantage of a file system like FileX, a network stack like NetX Duo and a USB device host implementation among many other things. Embedded system developers who work with microcontrollers will find the whole experience familiar. They will find the same middleware and APIs. We even updated STM32Cube ID and STM32Cube MX and more to make it easier to run our toss on STM32 MP13. On the other hand, engineers who have never used an ATOS will see how ST has made it accessible. Thanks to hardware abstraction layer, it's possible to get started faster. Let's see concretely how the STM32 MP QMP13 package can help developers. In microprocessor, the application may be executed from the DDR memory. The ST software package provides a sample first stage bootloader that implements this mechanism. In fact, it's possible to run a large application in DDR and even keep data in the volatile memory while in low power mode. Thanks to DDR RAM self-refresh control, developers can just learn from our implementation and start working on their project. Getting started guide for STM32 Cube MP13 is also available on the STM32 MPU wiki and there is a dedicated STM32 MPU community forum and an ST support center for technical support. Yes, we have got you every step of the way. And now let's hear from Ezio, an ST customer in Italy who is using the STM32 MP1 and STM32 MP2.